now we know strain energy in beams is given as u is equal to integral of mx square into dx upon 2 ei where mx is a bending moment about any section now we know for simply supported beam the bending moment varies all along the span of the beam let us consider a section xx at a distance x from the point a and determine the bending moment about this section xx which can be used in this equation now bending moment about section x considering the left hand side of section will be given as mx is equal to now about section xx on the left hand side we have this clockwise moment caused due to this upward vertical support reaction va acting at a distance x from this section so we have va into x then we have this anti clockwise moment caused due to this downward udl of intensity w newton per meter acting for a span of x so we have w into x which is the magnitude of this downward udl on the left hand side of section and this will be acting at the center meaning that at a distance x by 2 from section xx so we have x by 2 now substituting the value of mx in this equation we can determine the strain energy stored in the whole bar the strain energy u is equal to integral from 0 to l mx square which is nothing but vax minus w into x square by 2 the whole square into dx upon 2 ei so now taking this constant terms out and expanding this square term we have strain energy u is equal to 1 by 2 ei into integral from 0 to l va square x square minus 2 times of va x into w x square by 2 plus w square x to the power 4 by 4 into dx now we see that this 2 and 2 terms gets cancelled now upon substituting the value of va equal to wl by 2 we have strain energy u is equal to 1 by 2 ei into integral of 0 to l w square l square by 4 into x square minus wl by 2 into w into x cube plus w square into x to the power 4 by 4 into dx now upon integrating this we get strain energy u is equal to 1 by 2 ei into w square l square by 4 into x cube by 3 minus w square l by 2 into x to the power 4 by 4 plus w square by 4 into x to the power 5 by 5 with a limit from 0 to l now upon applying the limits we have strain energy u is equal to 1 by 2 ei into first we apply the higher limit so we have w square l to the power 5 upon 2l minus w square l to the power 5 upon 8 plus w square into l to the power 5 upon 20 minus now upon applying the lower limit we have x in all these terms so this whole term gets Zero. So now we see there is a common term W square into L to the power five in all these three terms. Now taking this outside, we have strain energy U is equal to W square into L to the power five upon two ei multiplied by. Now taking the LCM of all these numbers, which is one twenty, we have here we'll have to multiply with ten. So we have ten minus here we'll have to multiply with fifteen. And here we'll have to multiply with six, so plus six. So upon solving this, we get the value of strain energy U equal to W square L to the power five upon two forty EI. Hence proved. With this, our problem is over. Thanks for watching. In five minutes.